Anyone who has entered the shadowy world of the Super Ninja can tell you how deadly difficult it can be. While there have been many games in the franchise, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 promises to slice all the others into ribbons. This isn't just a sequel to Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Tell us what it's all about and why you're bringing it to the PS3. We are viewing Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 as the ultimate Ninja Gaiden game. Looking back on the series, we have brought together different elements from the different games to make the definitive Ninja Gaiden game. Ninjas in Japan traditionally work for somebody. There's someone who tells them what to do. Ryu, however, is doing what he wants to do and is sort of his own master. So we think that's something different for ninjas. Ryu's signature move through the series has been the Inzuna Drop. It's a move where he jumps up, twirls down, and slams down on the ground. In Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, he's able to do that with all his weapons. So this time, in Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, there are three female characters, and the first one is the heroine from Dead or Alive named Ayane. This has been the most requested feature from Ninja Gaiden fans. They want her playable. The second female character is Momiji. She first showed up as the heroine in Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword. She's actually from the same village as Ryu Hayabusa. This is the first time people will be able to play her in a 3D game. The third character is Rachel. She first showed up in Ninja Gaiden Sigma, and she's back again in Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. She carries a machine gun around with her, and she is going around hunting fiends. What would you say was the biggest challenge to bring co-op play to Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2? Action games are generally one player trying to take out the enemies and beat the game alone. To bring an online co-op mode basically required coming up with new game designs from scratch. We had to really re-examine what this new mode would entail and how to bring the fun of an action game to this new online co-op mode. Explain the manga that you see during the loading screens and also in the collector's edition package. Loading screens are boring. Everybody knows that. They're not fun, so we just figured this would be another way for players to stay in the game and enjoy the game while they can't actually play the game. The manga that we'll show during the loading screen works as sort of a prologue to Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. You'll get to see some of the backstory and what's been going on in the world, get introduced to the world and get introduced to the characters. We think it's a great way for people who are new to the series to get caught up. So, I want to give a little exclusive information to all the people who are watching this video. Once you clear the game on the hardest mode, you'll get a golden health bar. So normally, when you're playing the game, it's silver. Once you clear the game on the hardest mode, it'll show up as gold. And that's really a badge of honor for being a ninja master. That gold bar will also show up when you're playing online. And so when you're going online co-op and you see someone with that gold bar, you know they're really good. We really think that's a nice way to recognize all the master ninjas that are out there. Yeah.